who is Boromir? Uh, where does he come from? So Boromir is a man, a man of Gondor. He's born during the Third Age of Middle-earth. His dad, Denethor, is steward of the Kingdom of Gondor, and his mum died when he was about ten. He's in his early forties, around the time of the main events of The Lord of the Rings, and he has a younger brother called Faramir, who's about five years younger, I think. And Boromir is very much daddy's favourite. Yeah, yeah, very much so. And so basically Boromir shows up at the Council of Elrond near the beginning of Lord of the Rings, when the good guys are trying to decide what to do with the Ring of Power, the weapon of Sauron the Dark Lord, which through a long and complex chain of events has fallen into their hands. Yeah, and Boromir is there because he's had a dream telling him to go to Elrond's house. As you uh, do. As you do. I love that about the fantasy genre. If you're not sure how to get someone to do something or get someone to go somewhere, you can just write in a dream telling them to do that. And it's at Elrond's house that he joins the Fellowship of the Ring after they decide what they need to do with the ring is destroy it by casting it into Mount Doom. And Boromir is more or less on board with that idea to start with, but as they travel together, he starts to question the wisdom of sending tiny, childlike hobbits into Mordor to destroy the most powerful weapon of war that has ever been created. <laughs> yeah, officially, it's like the ring kind of tempts him and puts these thoughts in his head about you know, maybe taking the ring and going off to Gondor to use it to protect his city. But I don't know, I feel like it's also not a totally mad piece of logic to think that the plan endorsed by Gandalf and Pals is a bit of a long shot. Yeah, so unfortunately Boromir tries to take the ring from Frodo, everything gets a bit chaotic and he gets shot to death by orcs. From his point of view, honestly, a bit of a bummer to have kind of like queried the grand plan and then within an hour he's dead, <laughs> but uh, at least it was a hero's death, I guess. He, he dies defending two hobbits, Merry and Pippin, from the orcs. Yes, that's Boromir in a nutshell. A big, valiant hero, tragically compromised by his desire for a shortcut to victory. 